passion, drive, and patience. The formula of winning championships is also what keeps your ride or die alive. eBay Motors has everything for you to maintain your vehicle and level it up to peak performance. Superchargers, roof racks, exhaust kits, LED lights, and more. Whether you're into speed, power, or style, eBay Motors has it covered. With over 122 million parts for your number one ride or die, you'll always find exactly what you're looking for. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, your part is guaranteed to fit your ride every time or your money back. Because with eBay Motors, you're burning rubber, not cash. With all the parts you need at the prices that you want, it's easy to make your car the MVP it needs to be and bring home huge wins. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Again, ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. You should have been doing all this in high school. Should have what? Doing what? Doing podcasting? Having a great time living life. Yeah, I, didn't, I was too scared. I didn't know what the fuck was going on in high school. What the, the fuck? What did, what did you do in high school? Nothing, man. I, just, I didn't have many friends. I mean, I was on the I don't f- believe that. Everybody has some kind of friend in Craig, high school. Craig, I had, I had, I mean, I had, a, my best friend uh, was black, Lee Carter, and his family was fucking awesome. Um, I would go and like sleep over at his house. He, when I was actually. <laughs> Pour my heart out here. I'm listening. Okay, but I was I was homeless for a little while. Uh, Shit. When I got kicked out of my house, and uh, and his parents let me go, you know, live with him for like a month in an apartment. So really, yeah. So I met I met him in high school. He was on the he was a junior, and I was a senior, and we both didn't play at all because we sucked. So we became. But y'all was on the varsity team. Yeah, and we became we became friends, and you know, friends. I was bench buddies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I. So I had a little bob, but I didn't I didn't really have any friends until. Until that moment when I when I went on the football team, really? I don't talk to anybody from high school. Yeah, is that is that bad? I just wasn't popular. It's weird. It's weird that I wasn't a popular. No, that you don't talk to anybody. Yeah, even on Facebook, man. I'm not even. I I got out of the Gaither High School group. I don't even say where my, where the fuck I went to high school. I don't want people contacting me. I don't need any of this shit. Where did you go to high school? I went to Gaither High School in Tampa. In Tampa. Yeah, I ran a couple track meets there. Did you? I hope you won. Nope. That's wow. terrible, Seth, that you really feel like that I about was in your second high place, experience. So I was the first loser. <laughs> Craig, oh, that's Ricky Bobby. Craig, fuck my high school, man. They never, my high school never recognized me. They never wanted to bring me back when I was an upstanding member of, the, of this community. Okay, when I was so doing, I, I kind of feel like that you need to like really stick it to them. Well, that's what I'm doing right now by speaking ill of my high school. Fuck no, you, you gotta be big, You got to be bigger than that. You got to be bigger than that. You got to be like, they want to claim you now. You got to make it where they want to claim you, and you be like, "Fuck that!" They never wanted it. They never wanted me. Well, we're not done yet, dude. Okay, good. I want yeah, them to want me. That's right. All right, Operation Pigmentation officially is started right now. That was our mic check. Craig the Barber here, Rio. How you guys doing today? Wonderful. Craig, another you, day in paradise, baby. You said that I scared you, and then I said good, and then you said that I'm finally becoming one of the guys, and yep. I've been waiting my whole life for this. Yeah. How does me? How did me scaring you on accident mean that I'm becoming one of the guys? Because you were able to come back quickly and witly with the good. You and know, you, that's some you know some guy shit. You like a good witty response? Damn right. I want to get to barbershop. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the shit. Rio, how you how you doing, man? Are you uh are you chilling today? Are you uh Yeah, man, I'm good. It's gold. You, what'd you do? Did you guys uh anything special for Labor Day? Did you guys work yesterday? No. No. No, okay. You were Fuck closed? That. No, we weren't closed. Somebody was there. Somebody was there. Did anybody call you for any cuts? Yeah, I got I a couple phone, phone calls. calls. I got a few phone calls. They just didn't amount to the enough for me to go. Did you tell them how much they would have to pay you if you of went up course. there? And they just go, what is it, was it 50? It depends on what it was, who it was, and what they were getting. But nobody wanted to pay, nobody wanted no, to pay I the tax? I had about three people. I needed five. Okay, all right. I got, you got five would have moved me. Okay. Because yesterday, I, I barbecued Sunday. And then I started to get in the yard, but then, like I was telling y'all, daddy pulled out, and he jumped on the lawnmower and just started cutting, and I didn't even know he was going to do it. Oh, you got a riding lawnmower? Yeah. Oh, okay. Now, yeah. wait, your dad as your dad had, does he still have pancreatic cancer? No. Is that gone? It is in remission. Holy. For f- now. Holy shit, man. Yep, and so they just check his, I guess, kidney levels. They waiting. They're looking out for kidney failure. They scan so he does. AM. Dialysis three times a week, but he's a real trooper. He's a, as he would say, he's a real man. 
So was he trying to, did, does he just like mowing the lawn or is he trying to die of heat stroke out there and just trying to get out of this? I think it's both. And like I say, he's a real man. <laughs> That's how he wants to die on his yeah, mower? I guess that would be one way to go out. He was out there on the mower with a cup of ice water next to him. <laughs> And just fell off of that thing, and the lawnmower stopped, and he did too. Were you just wa- were you looking out the window the whole time? No, I was outside. You're outside, and you're like, yeah, I was barbecuing. You're like, Dad, you don't need to do this, man. No, I can't tell him that. He's a real man. Did he look like he knew how to handle it, or was he oh, struggling? Did he? A well, he no, no, he didn't struggle. He had it on one. Okay, you know, but, yeah, but you don't know. See, my dad is r- nickname. You want to tell him real? Are you ready for this one? You don't know his nickname, do you? I don't. I don't know. Raw dog. No, I don't know Raw Dog. Yeah, you don't know Raw How'd Dog. How'd he get the name? Him and his partner in high school, one of them was named Raw Dog and Forty Dog. Okay, that sounds like quite the tag team. Yeah, but his partner is now a pastor. Oh, they're going to say he's passed well, he away. He ain't no dog no more. He ain't no dog no more. Uh, guys, now this is the first time we've done the show since you guys co-hosted last Wednesday, right? Right. What was that? What was that like for you guys? Uh, at any moments where you guys are like, "Fuck this! I fucked up. I'm scared. Bubba's an asshole." Any, any? What? Just tell me what you guys were thinking last week. I haven't talked to you since you we uh, just the show. really. We were trying to just. We had to understand that it's different than doing this. Yes. Right. Yeah. yeah. So it took us, we had to get in the groove, but then, you know, Bubba, see, Seth, I don't know if you noticed, but those first, like, 10 minutes were were alpha males establishing lines. Is that what it was? Yeah. What what happened the first 10 minutes? You know, it was, how can I say, there was the, even though he was being curious about the African-American and black stuff, you know, a lot of some of us would have just went crazy and just started in. Oh, okay. You know, you like, you- and then Bubba also told us that this is his show. Do you remember that part? I don't remember that. He pro- he says that a lot. Yeah, yeah well, he it's the truth. Says that on every show, he knows, but it's it was the show. truth. But see that that was he was letting us know. Now don't don't you know he was claiming his territory. Yeah. My, in contrast, I believe it was more my my view of it was you both kind of just walked us in through it and got us. To where we needed to be to catch up on the show. And, you know, we've never done that before. So y'all kind of walked us through it. And I, I was very happy. I was excited. Yeah, I, it wasn't it. negative. I just, you know, it was establishing parameters. Did you guys have fun? Oh, oh yeah, fun. definitely fun. A lot of fun. Can I definitely clear, fun. I got to clear something up, guys. And maybe, maybe I misheard. Maybe maybe they're uh, they're actually right. There are, uh, there are people that are very upset with you guys. Very upset with the whole show because... I made uh, some sort of cockfighting reference, and then somebody said something about dogfighting, and, and apparently people think that you guys either bet or go and watch dogfights. I have- oh, uh, no. I've never known that to be the case, knowing no, you guys. I own a dog. Right. Yeah, no, I'm, I don't no, no. no. It was a joke. It was a joke, okay. yeah. I, yeah, because if that was the case, I mean, why would we be cutting hair? Exactly. Well- Because I'm going to tell you something. Let's just get this clear, everybody. Whatever my job is, I'm gonna be the best at it. So if you're fighting, but we're dogs, not fighting dogs. But we're not fighting dogs. We're not associated with anybody dog fighting. fighting. Dogs. It was a joke. I don't even know where to go watch a, fi- a dog fight at. I was gonna. I was so gonna. And here's the thing. Everybody that's making assumptions or whatever, whatnot. Plus, they could have just, just asked us. Down. We are not on that foolishness. Yeah, at they all. could have just asked us. I know it's like somewhat stereotypical that guys that would live in the quote unquote hood would be involved with dog fighting. With That's no- not even a, a, a fair stereotype because that is so far and few between in the hood. I mean, it's not like that's not a common thing. You know what I mean? I mean, right, it's common, honest, but it's there's not. There's more unlicensed daycares happening in the hood, right? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Straight up. I mean, come on. <laughs> Straight up. Yeah. Which isn't the worst thing in the world because but then, right. okay, on the it's other not hand, like you got people fighting dogs on every corner and this is how we get ahead in life. I mean, Jesus, get off of it. Come on, man. But listen, cock fighting would be stereotypical too. I don't even know where they even do that. Do they That's, still do that? Uh, we don't know That's because we 200 don't. years ago. No, but no. That, <laughs> Before uh-oh. the internet. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's that, but that would be considered a Spanish thing, wouldn't it be? I think so, yeah. Yeah, see, there's uh-huh. more stereotypes. And I'm going to be completely honest with everybody. Look who was got caught fighting dogs. Michael Vick means he had money. So 
It don't even matter. He was black, so we all get put in the same doggone box. Too. Hey, what I was trying to get That's at, people that fight is. dogs, they got money. Well, I, listen, I'm not trying to put you guys in, in any category at all. I, because all you would have to do is ask us. Well, I just I just, I just, made, I just remember I made some sort of like cockfighting joke, I don't know, for whatever reason. And then it was just, I feel like you guys just made a, a roundabout reference about dogfighting. And again, I saw, you know, 30 people that were ready to boycott the show. I want to let you know, I'm not trying to say it's a fair stereotype or that. I just wanted to tell you that that kind of, you know, People ran away with it. They believed it for whatever reason, and I just wanted to make sure for those. But let's couple- just like Rio said, we're not associated. We don't even cheer. I'm not a. I'm not a fan of it. I've never been Quite to frankly, one. Frankly, I don't even remember what we was talking about in, fre- in reference, reference to, to dog it. fighting or cock yeah. fighting last week. Because I did. Because definitely, I was definitely stoned, <laughs> and it was early in the morning. Hey, y'all made me take that fucking damn. Edible. Yeah, y'all had the man on the edible. Well, I don't, but I just, it don't matter. I was still in my right state of mind, and I don't believe I said anything in reference to me or Craig in in any way involved in, in cockfighting hey, or dog fighting or condoning it. You guys know I'm on your side, right? I hope so. I, I, hope shit, I feel like I feel like you're upset with me. I just I wanted to bring it up because I thought it was so. so you're well, such no, a bad. It's the messenger. I thought the it was, messenger, you have to deliver this to message just like you delivered the message. To us about the people ready to boycott the show over a misunderstanding and a, a complete stereotype. Um, now we need you to relay this message back to those same people. Chill the fuck out. Right. Okay. I'm on your side all the time. That whole thing about the customer is always right. You guys know that's bullshit. I don't believe in that at all. When everybody started at figuring all. out that the customers were fucking assholes, we stopped Period. doing that whole customers right Period. thing. Especially when I'm not even getting paid for this. So that technically, you guys are not customers. That's right. So this is all opinionated, baby. I thought it was crazy. I knew that you guys are not involved with that. That's nothing that we've ever even broached. It's nothing that anybody... I would heard. like for more people to join more shows and listen to more content from us, the Bubba Army, Bubba, whoever's associated. I think we're growing something here. Oh, yeah, we are. We are. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I don't want anybody to be offended or think that we're involved in dog fighting or cockfighting, or any kind of violence per se. I'm about money. My bottom line, I want my family to be able to retire. I want to be with my wife all day on Mondays. And you don't have time for all this foolishness. So do, because first of all, I'm not a fan of blood. And you like dogs. Goreness. And I got a dog at home that I didn't even ask for, and now I love her. <laughs> Have you ever been to a dog fight? No. No, I okay. wouldn't even know where to go to All get, right, to I wouldn't one. either, guys. All right, we'll start we're talking about something else. All right, I got text from both of you guys over the weekend. Um I'm going to get to <laughs> Craig, I'll get to Craig's first. Uh <laughs> this was crazier. You sent me a text with it yesterday. You go, uh Bubba's black voice is horrible. It was. Well, I just happened to be listening to some read like some old shows and he did the little black voice of his and I'm like Wow, that was terrible. Is it is, is it uh, consistent with the? He sounded like the black guy on uh, with Peter. He always <laughs> Family Guy. Oh, okay. He's got kind of like what every the the blacks every impression that he does of a black man is kind of turns into Deion Sanders. Hey man, let me tell you something. I'm Deion. That Sanders. ain't really Deion. I, I guess it may be, but I, I, he sounds like to me like. The character of Family Guy. Okay, so you think he, could you help him? You know, tweak his voice and make it more authentic. No, I think I like it the way it is. Okay. Yeah. Let's keep it like that. Yeah. And Rio, you sent me a, a text about wanting to have, and I can, I can put it on, uh, I'll put it in after this, but you sent me about having an intro song. Yeah, that, we need theme music. That you want to use Nothing Else Matters by Metallica. Yep. That's real. What? I don't even know what that, I didn't even, not even know that you were into Metallica. I'm into music, good music. Yeah, audio. You got to remember, bro, when audio. I was raised, when we listened to the radio, it was Q105. And yep. you had to listen to everything to yep. even get to a song that you might like. Yep. Mind you, I'm in in elementary school, so you know I'm. We got to listen to everything. You waiting all day to hear? Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> be happy. Something with a. Beat. And then you'll get Michael Jackson beat it, and then you know Herbie Hancock. It was slow. Then it was really some slow. Some Metallica, some ACDC, yep. little yep. Allison Chains. And let me tell you something, Seth. Audio dope 
comes in every form of music. I listen. I I know, guys, and just like I love, you know. What, hey, stop calling me. Are you good? Yeah, yeah. That's He's, just a bookie. A bookie. Yeah. Okay. It just I'm gonna, that, need, I'm gonna need to talk to you when we get off there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just hey, wait a minute, everybody. That was a joke. <laughs> Just trying to have some fun here. Yeah, there ain't nobody messing with the bookie. All you got to do is go to Hard Rock. Are you actually dealing with the bookie? Is he calling back? What in the fuck is happening? I don't know how to turn my watch on silent. Oh, man. Yeah, you know I'm not that tech savvy. Yes, I I, I got you. I was going to say, it just just surprised me because I've asked you guys, I feel like, about music and all this stuff before, and... I'm not saying that you guys can't like metal or hard rock. It was just surprising about Metallica. Yeah, we think that's going like, to be a great show. I listen to music, so they and in his in the hook, it says what our show kind of I feel is all about. You Nothing know? else matters. Nothing else Nothing matters. Nothing else man. matters. All right, let me go. Let me move mics for a second here. Let me do this. Nothing else matters. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> you think you'll make a good commercial? Yeah. So you want this to be the theme? Well, you gotta get I mean, to the, the meat. Yeah. Get the hook. Yeah, we wanna hook it up. There we go. That's us, man. Never care what I think do. Don't give a damn. Never care for what they know. That's real, Seth. It don't matter. But I know. Yeah, man. All right, I fuck, I fuck with it. I was never a huge Metallica guy, but I'm not a huge rock fan. But I like rock and roll. I like certain songs. I love all music. No, man, it's fuck. It's fun to rock. And then it's really cool because, like, my daughter, my youngest daughter, is really into the whole metal thing, big time. That's insane. How old is she? Eighteen. What and who does like? Has she gone to any crazy concerts or anything? Now, she ain't got there yet, but uh, she's trying to get there. Let's see here. Do, oh, what, do you know any of the name of the Japanese rock that she listens to? No, but it's really cool. It sounds real nice. She put up, popped in a CD when I went up to uh, Jacksonville to pick her up a couple weeks ago. Let me see. Let me find it. I, this is why I switched over to uh, to Bubba Seat because I knew that you had uh, sent me the uh, message about this. Uh, Japanese rock. Let's see. <laughs> I don't know the name of the, the group. Oh, well, get. I got some. I got the. It's J- Japanese metal. Japanese metal. Okay, yeah. I have the best Japanese rock songs uh, of 2024. Japanese metal. The rock songs might be like radio hits. All right, let's see what we got. Uh, it's, it's 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 different. This has seven point five million views. Yeah, that's it right though. <laughs> that's it right though. It's 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 different, but it's all right though. Let's see. Oh my god. Fuck out of here! Come on, <laughs> Rio. Rio. That ain't it, Rio. Dog. Rio, what do you mean this is this is Japanese metal? I'm saying that's, that's, dog, that's, my daughter that's has not the one her, that I, the, the shit she likes. That's and, not the shit. I yeah, don't fucking know it. the name of the people. What are you, Craig? What is, what are you citing? You can't just pick one and just say yeah, the old digger and then when damn you the whole genre. Seven point five million people listen to. This I is, figured that had to be something. Yeah, that had to be good. But guess seven point five million people. That's a very that's a neighborhood in Japan. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's some other shit, dog. It's yeah, that not ain't this. it. That's just for oh, a certain okay. neighborhood. All right, all right, fine. Let me find another one. Let for us you guys. do it. Let us do our research and get back with you, motherfucker. Yeah, if I knew you was gonna ask me the name of the people, I'd have asked her. Are you surprised that I'm asking you questions on this show? I hope I'm. I hope no, you're not. No, I'm not as surprised. I'm just surprised that you asked me about the Japanese name. Okay, well, I want to. We're just them. Just I happy to, that we know about. I it. wanted to play their music. How about another one? This one has 21 million views. That's another neighborhood. It sounds a little better, right? I was gonna say that sound a little more like, like what she had going on. They're all dressed I like. I feel like I'm driving Mario Kart. <laughs> They're all dressed like maids. Dudes. No See, maids. Yeah, that sounds a lot better. This is better, yeah. This sounds closer to what she was playing on her CD. Oh yeah, I like that. 
This is all. This is all women, by the way. This is five piece. All ladies. Oh yeah, I like that. They fine. They're uh yeah. Oh. If you oh, it, if you like if if you like Asian women in uh in like French maid outfits. What's the name of the group? Uh ba- oh, they're band made. Oh really? Band made, and the song is called Thrill. Okay, Thrill. Doki. Okay, all right, guys. Well, I wanted to run through that, so okay, yeah. I got something to do. You got <laughs> what are you gonna? What are you looking for? Something to whack off to, or for something yeah. to look nah, up later? Just some new music okay. to listen to. You know, just try it out. You <laughs> know, I like to listen to new music in my headphones, so I can give it a real try. Maybe we need to go to a concert together. Well, you know, here's something we need to do together. I could, t- you know, if you guys want to go to a concert, let me know. They are really fucking expensive these days. But you know, you know people. We're not paying. I don't know people anymore. I used to, you better get on your job. I used to know people back. Well, in, you better get back on your job. I, I used. I was in the music industry. Well, I mean, now so what? We're still right next door to the music industry. So you cannot let Bubba ruin all our connections for us. I I understand, but I don't even, ha- dude. I used to be able to just walk into Janice Live back in the day. Now I got to pay hundred bucks for a ticket you know times mm. change i'm not as a local celebrity like i used to be we're mm. we're working back on that we we're are. working to the point that they will be asking you to come i hope mm. so and they will be willing for you to pay you to come right yeah that's what level we going to bro you know how we talked about doing like chicken tender food reviews last week yeah, yeah. um I, I was kind of thinking about maybe tweaking it a little bit because chicken tenders like whatever you get a chicken tender okay it's good big deal what if we did like hot chicken I honestly thought that you were using the uh, chicken tender idea as just an example. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I didn't think we were really going to be going around eating chicken tenders. Oh, oh, yeah. No, no. I was just joking. But I was like, now I'm trying to really dial in like what it is exactly that we could do and what we could eat. And I was th- maybe thinking something like that. Is That's that cool. racial? It depends no. on the context in which you're bringing it. Yeah, and No. Because everybody, everybody likes, likes hot good chicken. chicken and hot chicken. I don't. I don't like hot things. You know, I, don't I don't like, like spicy hot things, things either. Well, that, yeah, real I don't like spicy, I'm not a spicy guy either. So would it be funny to to video us eating that? Or should no, we? that when pain is not funny. That's not funny. Well. And it's not even going to be funny when it comes out. Okay, I, yeah, well, we don't. You, you know, definitely don't want that. We're just talking about having a bite or two. We're you know we're well, not. Why t- can't we go with like uh, it's, it's different foods? Well, yeah, like something like, we've never eaten before. Like, I mean, not necessarily never eaten, but, but just no. never. But, but it's prepared maybe differently. We or need something. a niche. We need a lane. Right. So like, that's what I'm saying. Like, is it going to be Greek food? Is it going to be hot chicken? Is it going to be um, who the what? I don't know. Fucking veggie hot dogs. I don't know. I mean, like, what is it? What hey, is, you know, it's funny you said that because I was in this my the greatest store ever, which is Publix, and they had a whole little section of vegetable plant based. Everything. Yeah. The thing is, though, those things are so fucking high in sodium because they have to Trying make Trying to hold them together or yeah, something. They so, gotta, in other words, I'm eating a ball of salt. Pretty much, yeah. I mean, that's- wow. it's, so that's going to be defeating the purpose. Yeah, it's it's nice to go like, oh my God, this stuff's plant-based. And it, look, if, if heart, you don't have heart issues in your family and you can rack up the sodium, then go ahead. But that nah. is that is the downfall of, of all those veggie things is that it's it's packed with it. Yeah, well, that just burned up my whole little idea. I'm sorry, Here's man. an idea. Uh, something different that we don't really do, and people probably would take to this. Let's do a lamb chop review. Different yeah. areas who prepare. You got Greek restaurants yeah. that prepare yeah. differently than regular restaurants. And instead of like doing a regular steak review, let's do lamb chop. Are review. lamb chops, is that red meat? It is. I'm, see, I don't do red meat. Yeah. God damn, Seth. Motherfuckers, guys. I'm on the chicken tip, man. I'm on the chicken tip, and you're going lamb on me. I, guess well, what, I mean, man? I'm going to be honest like, with you. The you best know. chicken tender, hands down, I already told you guys who has that. Oh, I know, but like what? what I'm looking. F- I don't even like chicken okay, tenders. Okay, fuck me, man. I'm just trying to fucking think of shit. All I right. Mean, let's get it. I mean, we can go with the whole chicken with the bone in it and just find different ways that they cook chicken. You got garlic parmesan. You have all these other different flavors of chickens. It doesn't necessarily yeah, have yeah, to be yeah. hot chicken, but you know. Does every gonna, Chinese chicken wing have to be yellowish? It's the uh, marinade that they use. Yeah, I know. They put it in That's the what mustard. Make it all. Something mustard like. Yeah. 
All right. Or cumin colored. You're making me hungry, Seth. I'm gonna just. I'm gonna can. I just forget that. No, we're that. not gonna can it. We're gonna work better on brainstorming. <laughs> Seth, you don't seem to understand. This is my fucking retirement plan. I. I'm. Listen, I'm all in on this. I just feel like Rio's really giving me some resistance ever since no, I brought him. No, the he's just brainstorming. Yeah, just he's giving you. Gave you an, an idea. Instead of chicken tenders, let's find different ways to cook chicken. Okay. Just regular chicken. Okay. Yeah, there's you got chicken marsala. You ever and had maybe, that? And maybe That's our different. listeners. It's chicken and wine sauce and gravy. Our listeners who think that we dog fight, they can just give us the best chicken in their area or what they think is the best chicken. We don't want the dog fighting people to, to send us to a restaurant. They're gonna Why, they're going to be trying to kill us? Yeah, I don't think that. <laughs> See? There are one, there's a couple of things. We apologize and we don't even, we're not involved and we're at risk now. I know, it's been a public apology for some. You know, it, it really amazes me how serious some people go about the shows. Like. Why, do you see feedback or? Just or just like, me telling you things. Yeah, like it just amazes me that you don't have anything else in your life to to harp on. Well, the, the also the flip side of that, and I and I agree, uh, is that you have those people that call you guys up at the fucking barber shop and tell you how much they love you guys and you know donate shit. So when you have people that are gonna and look, here's the thing too, guys, you were. You know, people come here because they like you guys on the podcast. You guys right. were exposed to Bubba's world where, you know, it's, you know, 20 times the audience. It's all these people that are, you know, hearing you for the first time. And they're just going to make up, you know, whatever they decide to hear about you that day. They're just going to decide that that's their perception. So uh, it was something that I didn't really pay any attention to. We didn't bring it up on the show at all because it wasn't worthy of, of any of that. I just wanted to, to let you guys know that uh, I'm obviously on your side. I never thought you guys did anything. And... Just wanted you to clear that up for anybody that does think that you are involved with it. We appreciate it. And Craig, I got a I got a text message from uh, who was this? this? Is my buddy, my buddy who lives in Memphis. His name. Let's see. He sent me a DM. He goes. He goes. Uh, somehow I missed the fact that Craig is an addict. I already love that guy, but he just shot way up in my book. Rio and Craig are so fucking cool. If you never do anything else in radio, just know the joy that you've brought me to them is something to be proud of. I wish for all the success for you guys. That's what's See, up. that's what keeps me going. Yeah. For he, real, because I don't give a darn if I catch one guy's ear, if I get one person to to change their mind about something or look at it a different way or just because I'm open to being enlightened too. I, I, you know, I believe this world is a give and take world. You know, you give what you put out, it comes back, you know? So I try to keep the good coming out and get the good coming back, man. I really appreciate anybody that takes the time to listen to me, Seth and Seth money and real, or come to the barbershop or make a comment or donate or any of that, because we really, really want to ride this positive wave. I mean, that's why I feel. Anybody feel different? No, I'm 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 all about this, man. I try to think of you know different ways to try to elevate this podcast all the time. That's why you know I don't think necessarily the food reviews are gonna you know get us to where we need to be. But I think if we start, what doing, if we do? I think the few food reviews, especially if we're doing it kind of live, yeah. where they can see us doing it and everything, um, that would just give us more exposure. To people that don't even know who we are, never heard of us, because it's not like we're famous or anything like that. We're just some or we could do regular Joe dispensary Smoke. reviews. <laughs> I mean, that's actually that would bring more attention. I definitely straight up, baby. See, we and could a be lot the, of people could relate to it, and we could be the secret shopper. Nobody really knows us like that. That's a way better idea than the fucking chicken, man. Finally, we got to it. Thank you. You know there what I'm go. saying? Because I done been to a couple of dispensaries, and some of these places are. Not up to par. Some of these places are a up lot to of them bar. suck. But the good thing about doing this is each time you go to a new place, I believe for the first time you get fifty percent off your first purchase. Yeah, some they have they some kind always of deal. Have a deal. Yeah, so that's, yeah, they're trying to get you. So yeah, we can do all. That's that's a better idea, guys. All right, strike the chicken, hot chicken, lamb. I'm sorry I brought any of that stuff. And up. then after we go to the dispensaries, then we maybe have the munchies and like go right around the corner to something close to the dispensary and try something. Oh, I, I, maybe some fried broccoli. Anything. I like fried broccoli. Me too. Yeah, I do. T- also, uh, I don't know if you guys go to PDQ much, but we no. already discussed this. Did we discuss the fried broccoli? 
We yeah, discussed you did it. Say they PDQ have is okay. disgusting. Okay, all right, we discussed the fried broccoli is way better than the chicken tender. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> fried broccoli is great. Uh, Craig, how do you? How, did you watch FSU last night? Oh, hey, hey, hey. I Let's talk about you, it. Uh, Let's yeah, talk about it. Talk about Let's it. Let's talk about how we need to be getting the breaking news on ESPN. Yeah, we're Mike waiting on breaking is news. Fired. Fired, and he they, 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 his whole staff, everybody go. Were you ready to fire Norvell because because he, yeah. he, he yeah, got a bad over. quarterback in the portal? It's over. Yeah. What's over? You don't think Norvell? Can- I love a great deal just as much as the next guy, but I'm not going to crawl through a bed of hot coals or go out of my way just to save a few bucks. And if I am, man, it's got to be easy. No hoops, no BS. So when Mint Mobile says it's easy to get wireless for 15 bucks a month with the purchase of a three month plan, I'm going to call them out on it. Turns out. It's really that easy. It's that easy to get wireless for $15 a month. The longest part of the process was the time I spent on hold waiting to break up with my old provider. That's a nightmare. Wish everything was as easy as Mint. All plans come with high-speed data and unlimited talk-to-text delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. You can use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and bring your old phone number with you, along with all of your existing contacts. To get this new customer offer with your three-month premium wireless plan for only $15 a month, you must go to mintmobile.com forward slash Bubba. That's mintmobile.com forward slash B-U-B-B-A. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com forward slash Bubba. $45 upfront payment required, equivalent to $15 a month. New customers on first three-month plan only. Speed slower on 40 gigabytes on unlimited plans. Additional taxes, fees, and restrictions apply. See Mint Mobile for details. This season, Instacart has your back-to-school. As in, they've got your back-to-school lunch favorites, like snack packs and fresh fruit. And they've got your back-to-school supplies, like backpacks, binders, and pencils. And they've got your back when your kid casually tells you they have a huge school project due tomorrow. Let's face it, we were all that kid. So first, call your parents to say I'm sorry, and then download the Instacart app to get delivery in as fast as 30 minutes all school year long. Get a $0 delivery fee for your first three orders while supplies last. Minimum $10 per order. Additional terms apply. Dude, he Listen, lost that he team. He lost the team. What he is has it all? lost the team. Has it all been downhill after you guys didn't make the uh, Final Four last no, year? No, it was still good. They should have put. I think they won out of spite last year, in spite of him. Yep. That's that's not my yep. personal feeling. They won in spite of him because this is his third zero and two start in five years. So I kind of feel like that when they when the starter got hurt last year, the team and the quarterback played with a chip on their shoulder because Norvell, you think you know every fucking thing, and you got ballers on the bench. And guess what? You that boy is still on the bench. Was, I've never seen a defense that is as talented as we have, just lay down. You know why? Because their morale is dead. And they were tired they don't from constantly play for you, being. Man. They don't want to play for him no more. They don't want to play for him. And I, they showed it these last two games. I didn't know that you were a uh, FSU guy, Rio. Big time. Oh, okay. Oh, we're sore time. losers also. Oh, people are calling for the uh, for the Gators coach to be fired, too. He needs to, he go, needs too. to go, too. <laughs> He needs to go to. He's an embarrassment to that their program. That was ridiculous this past Saturday. Are, wait, are you surprised? I mean, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Cam Ward, who transferred from Washington State and now is no. The, uh, he came from Houston, uh, Washington State to Houston, to now here. Yeah, I mean, the guy, the kid. I mean, he was like Rick Ross recruited him. Like FSU was trying to get him. Everybody was trying to get Cam Ward, and he went to he went to the Hurricanes, and like that's why they ended up whipping the Dolphins all over the field, or whipping the, the Gators all over. No, they whipped the Gators all over because that man did. Did nothing to elevate his team. He did no. He got who no Billy recruits. who Napier Napier. Yeah, he did nothing. And he came out. He hasn't changed his scheme. He hasn't changed nothing. Personally, he shouldn't even been a coach. Mm. Mm, straight up. Yeah. Who knew that Cristobal would be the best coach in Florida right now? There are hurricanes. Let me tell you. Let me tell you why I believe that is. If you can relate to these kids, right? You got to be able to relate to these kids. Because you got to remember, they are kids. They're 17, 18, 19 coming to you. And now they're coming and they can make money. Yeah. The business of football has changed, you know. So you got to really be. Yeah. You got to be able to relate to the kids, be able to show them how to get money and stay in school Hmm. and be a, you know, a profit to themselves. Got to keep them out of trouble. Yeah. this And out of the three schools, he's the only coach that's doing that. Yeah. Is Mike Miami Norville. is Miami back? No, no, they're not. They're, they're not. They're, they're not. Got to 
a lot to prove, but they're a lot further than these other two jackasses. <laughs> and were you? Ex- and listen, I didn't go to. I didn't go to college. I, I have no. I could just. I just like watching college football and you know some of the great players. But um, were you expecting a good season from FSU? And did that? I was de- de- most definitely. Okay. Especially how they ended last year. I'm automatically thinking the the anybody you get out of the portal is your backup. Not necessarily, but I was thinking on. that because you could have got something better. Than, you could have got me out of the transfer portal <laughs> See, over DJ Bunga right. Bunga. Listen, the reason I thought that you get a backup out of the portal is at the end of the season, football teams and locker rooms go on waves. Mm-hmm. And right then, they had a spark at quarterback. There's no way that young man don't start the season. And for he lost, he has slowly been losing that team ever since. That team got punched in the face last year. Do you think it's bad? A lot of times, and they still won. Do you yeah, th- out of, out of, in spite of him. Do you in think spite it, of him, yeah. Do you think it's? I, do you think this is just part of business, or it's bad? It's bad for morale when you're openly trying to recruit like quarterback to players to the team when you already have guys in those current positions. Do you yeah, think that's that, terrible. Do you think well, that? Re- no, it's business now. It is business now because but- that quarterback that you just bought in from the transfer portal, he got paid. He got a check. And that other guy, the backup's going somewhere else anyway. The, the, so the, the backup might not be getting as big of a check. Uh, you don't know. But right now, this is more of a marketing business thing. It's not just based on your talent and the scholarship and all that crap, how well you fit in the system. It's based on how much we can market your ass. Yeah, uh, that, that too. Speaking of guys getting paid, I don't know if you saw this at all, but I uh, I guess Deion Sanders gives um, every everybody on his team that has kids, he puts like $2,121 in an account for those kids that they can get to, I guess, when they're 18. So I thought that was a pretty cool, pretty cool gesture. Well, that's that's a up. teardrop in the bucket compared to all the money that he's making. Well, I I understand, it's fun, but it's also teaching these people financial literacy yeah. because when you put that money in there for these kids, I mean, of course, the parents I would hope is learning what is this money for and how it, and then you're going to pass on and teach. The, and so now that when they graduate, they got a little something. I mean, all these kids are making. All these kids are making. I'm sure a little bit of money, especially you know at programs like Colorado. But I, I haven't heard of anything where coaches, and I'm sure they're doing it. But I haven't heard anything of coaches doing that for players. And you know whether it's just two thousand dollars, whatever. I, I thought that that was pretty cool of Dion. That's sweet. Yeah. Did you guys see the? Did you guys see the kid from the 49ers and from the Gators last year, Ricky Purcell, who got shot? And uh, yeah, they say he got shot. Somebody was trying to rob him or something. Yeah, a 17 year old was trying to take his Rolex, and um, I guess when they were. Ricky Purcell got shot. It went through his. It went through his chest. It came out, mm. and then the, he, sh- he shot the kid with his own gun too. So the kid had to go to the fucking hospital. So he took the kid's gun. They, when they were there was a struggle for the gun. I don't know who got shot first, but he ended up shooting <laughs> the kid with his own gun. Yeah, that's that's what good. Did. That's what he get. Is this what worth? Is good. Do you guys? Is this what? Is this fucking? Are people just? Is this yes. only a California thing? Or are people? Yes. If you're wearing a Rolex, someone's gonna find no, you. It's a. The world, Seth, the world is fucked up, bro. Right, man, it don't matter where you at. I, it don't matter. You need to be poor, listen, underprivileged people that everywhere, everywhere that's gonna take what you got. So everybody that's blaming it on like that, it's a democratic, uh, you no. know, no, it's a system. You need to be. You thing. need to watch your surroundings. I mean, look at our government. You're at. Our government, when we roll up on other countries, I say this and I can't say it enough. We don't roll up on another country talking about Democrats and Republicans. We talk about capitalism. What is capitalism? It is power to the people. For what they is, if you got it and we got a better advantage to take it, then damn it, get down and lay down. Mm. And that's mm. what has been taught to everybody. I don't give a fuck if you're rich or poor. That's your mentality if you are a United States American. Because so to me, economics don't really change. The rules now, of economics don't change. It's now, just the product. The less that you have the more they'll probably implement the capitalistic yeah. ideology. Well, yeah, I'm going to come take it, even though, yeah, it's against the rules and you don't kill somebody for their shit. But, but apparently that dude was example willing to kill. Example after example after he example was also of our willing. history of our government killing people to get what we want. Now, also watch this. That guy still struggled over the Rolex. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, Why? here's the, the thing. Why? Well, I, I, 
here, I know, despite him being a wide receiver, you're but why try, you're, you're trying to get mixed up with a professional football player. But no, why did he even fight back? Let him have it. Let him have it. So we'll find out, I guess, more about kind of how you know uh, why he fought back. Because he came from the same place that man came from. That's right. He was just lucky enough to make it out. That's right. And, yeah, I'm going to protect everything I got with her because I never had shit. Now yeah. I got something. You see the mentality of everything and how it goes around full circle? Yeah. And it's fucked up. But this is what it is. So yeah. you'll have your Democrats and Republicans pointing at each other like, it's your fault. No, it's all our fault, man. <sighs> you feel me? Instead of y'all worrying about fucking damn... The immigrants coming in here and, and, and setting them up for life. How about we worry about the fucking people that's here already that's been here their whole How life? How do we stop these kids from jacking Rolexes? Because I, I heard that this you kid to Give them alternatives. You got something else to do, but they want money. Because all they have, all they see, all they see this put in their face. People with money? People with money. Right. Players with but money. Well, how many people are getting taught how to do it and go about getting it? Zero. Because as you can see... They're instead of earning it, they're, they're willing take it. to take it because it's too hard to go to school. Too hard to earn. I can't afford to go to school. But they're yeah. also looking at guys that are athletes and rappers, and you don't necessarily have to go to school for that. You know, I don't know if people are looking at like. Oh uh, yeah, you do. You gotta go to school. Look at Lil Wayne. You think Lil Wayne would be where he's at right now? Tupac. Tupac would never have been Tupac if he didn't go to the school of arts. Yeah. Most of these rappers went to school, my man. You have to have uh uh you have to have verbal literacy Boy, to rap been doing and be this good for at it. Fifteen years you have before to have they a blow vocabulary. Yeah. Even if they did it for fifteen years, Lil Wayne was doing it when he was twelve. Yeah. But when he made enough money, he took his ass to college. He went to school, paid for it. These are not what is put on the album and telling you this rapper went to college. No, because they want you to take the, the robbery of what he's rapping about. Because that's what the, the, the record companies who are invested in the prisons, you know what I mean? Just yeah. like uh, your boy Alex Stein was telling us. And it's a proven fact. It's all the prisons are privatized. It's all full circle. So, yeah, we need y'all to think that this ignorance and it is idiocy that this man is saying on the radio or on the record is how you're going to get the success when that's not it. Those boys, you're not talking to, you never hear about how all these successful rappers went to school, two chains went to school. Mm -hmm. uh, Young thug went mm -hmm. to school. Mm -hmm. All these successful rappers, they had some kind of college experience and learned. Jay Z. Jay Z went to school. Did he? Yes, he did. Not Eminem. Eminem went to a school. I don't know about Eminem. But it might have been after he blew, but at some point he got <laughs> he an education. His, he might have done some ho some classes from home or something. Yeah, it doesn't me, but... do a whole lot of for his reputation for everybody to say he's a schoolboy. He got his his degree in school. You know what I mean? He's got to just hang it up in one of his rooms that he doesn't use at his mansion. His uh... exactly, exactly. But I guarantee you that man has an education. Now watch this. Guarantee. We got all these youth. Around here, running around trying to be like these people, trying to have all this stuff, and nobody ever says anything about Rick Ross had a job before he was a rapper. Wingstop. Before that, what what was his? He was, was selling, a correction he sold crack. officer. No, he was a correction officer. officer. But come on, he was prison. moving. He was moving. Yeah, yo, in the three hundred five. Correctional officer. That man ain't never. You know the people that are moving real cocaine and dope. They don't. They want never get a record deal. Know. The record company would never give you a record deal you, if you're really out here moving on that dope because what you're do you a need a, What do you need to do with a record? You're telling me Rick Ross never sold any dope in his life. I don't believe so. I thought no. he was like the big, one of the biggest dope guys I in Miami. Don't Let me just say this. He's never been caught for selling dope. That's all right. Yeah, I agree with that. So you say Rick Ross was a, a, a what? A, 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 a corrections officer oh. in a prison. Have you seen his house, by the way? Yeah. It Who was cares? Evander that Holyfield's. was Evander's house first. Oh, that's right. Yeah, well, he said Holyfield he's gonna have. Fight. He said he's gonna have Evander Holyfield and Mike Tyson fight in his front yard. Okay, he could he possibly can do it. that. See, these are all the things that they put in front of you, so you don't go back to the fact of that all of the dope dealing he talks about, all of the stuff that he talks about, he got all of these from being a correction officer and listening. And his name ain't even Rick. Nope. What is it? I don't forgot. It's uh, Gregory or right. something like that. Right. But he took another man's life 
the real Freeway Ricky Ross yep. and put it on the album. Freeway Ricky Ross sold all that dope he talking about. Oh, and when Ricky Ross was in prison at the time, he got in touch with Rick Ross and said, listen, man, y'all putting you using my name, you using my story, just give me a million dollars. Can I just read you some Rick Ross lyrics from his breakout hit, Hustlin'? We don't want to hear that shit. We, we never do steal it every car. day. We never steal cars, but we deal hard. Whip it hard. Whip it, whip it real hard. We deal hard? What does that mean? We sell crack. Right, exactly. He That's what Ricky about, Ross was doing. Yeah. That's what I was saying. Not Gregory. No, no, not Gregory. We talking about the real freeway Ricky Ross out in California that did 30, 40 years. I'm going to tell you like this. If he so watch this, Seth. I'm just gonna clear it up for you. If he sold the amount of dope that he talks about on these records, his Mexican family, his Cuban family, his Colombian friends, he would be dead. Okay, well tell me, tell me why he says this then. Because he's an entertainer. Because you got a thousand people that's gonna buy that shit. He goes, I cut them wide, I cut them long, I cut them fat, I keep them coming back. We keep them coming back. I'm in the distribution. I'm like Atlantic. I got those motherfuckers flying across the Atlantic. Atlantic. Yeah. I know Pablo Noriega. The real Noriega. Yeah. The real Noriega. He'll be 100 favors. 100. Okay. Yeah. You're tell- and you want to be a rapper and Noriega and owes you favors. And the real Freeway Ricky Ross knows the real Noriega. And the real Noriega probably owed that man a few favors. Are you telling me, are you just telling me that Rick Ross is a character? Yes. Yes. He's actually a real person that really existed. Rick Ross Gregory is talking about that man's life. Wait, is he some sort of performance artist or something? Who? Rick Ross. I mean, like, yeah, he, he that's just, all. It, it, it's, it's just Paula like all the rest Eggs. of these rack rappers. They're it's entertainers, my man. Entertainer. Come on, dude. They're Offset's not, really not acting. This life. Offset's not acting. He's acting, acting his ass off. Lil Yachty's Definitely. not acting. Definitely acting. 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 They are not living this life. Kodak Black is not acting. Kodak Black is not acting. And guess where his black ass at? Jail? There yes. you go. He stays in there. He stays in there. More understand? than he here and more than he at. Can you understand anything that motherfucker says? It don't matter. It don't Somebody's matter. buying that bullshit. They're buying that bullshit. That's the and word. it's a million motherfuckers that think that that's the route what? to go. Today, when we get off the interstate, I say I hate to say this, but we're going to see probably 15 or 20 of those just on the way to the barbershop, walking around with their shirt off, with half of their underwear being seen, and then you're going to see that big extended bag sticking out the side of their pants, underwear. Yeah. Jackasses. Jackasses. Guess who made all of them? Kodak Black. <laughs> And they all are rapping just like him, thinking that they're going to get a deal like that. No, yeah. they used him as a, a a pawn to fill up these prisons. Because <laughs> that's what he's doing. He's getting all y'all jackasses to go right behind him. Filling up the prisons and making the record company millions. But you will say fits. Kodak Black is a real person. He's a real person. He's a real person. Okay. Because guess how you can tell? He in jail. He keeps going back and forth to jail. <laughs> yeah. Rick and, Ross uh, worked at the jail. Rick Ross, if he was doing half the things that he said in his music, he, he would did. never have made it. Or he would be in jail yeah. like Kodak is. But he didn't he wouldn't be he's never been locked up. He worked there. How many times offset been to prison? <sighs> I don't know, man, but Zero. Never. he needs to stop. Come on, no. dude. Even Wayne. He's real. They have Wayne to perpetuate this bullshit-ass illusion of dope dealing and all this crap. Well, Offset was never like a dope dealer, right? I but thought they were. They, all of them. They praised the lifestyle. Well, that all Offset's a dirty dog. I mean, how many times can the guy keep cheating on as Cardi B? As long as he wants to. She just, well, she filed for divorce. She, just, she should have. She that's just wants to be loved. To do See, let me say, let me get a part a, of the thing. That's part of it. You got to keep this, uh, this illusion this crap up because it's a bunch of people trying to be like Cardi B and Offset. And Offset. So what are you saying? They get divorced just to stay in the news to keep up? It's news. It's a part of it's the fucking part of it. love and hip hop and the, the the real world. So all that reality TV crap is ruined. That people take as Bible. Yeah, <laughs> they has think ruined, bro. Real has life ruined it's a fucking generation, life. bro. It's not real. It's not real life. Because what's what? When you watch a reality show, do you ever see any of them going to work? No, we know reality. I mean, that, that we know it's reality. It's none of it reality. But, I mean, you're telling me that my favorite rappers are not. All right, what about Andre 3000? Is he real? He's a, he's has he a ever real talked per- about selling dope? 
No. No, he doesn't. Because he talked about what he did in high school, a couple nickel bags. You know, he stayed up late laying on the car thinking about raps and, and you know, thinking about that girl. Is she going to be in the front row? And, yeah, that was a real life for a young man because that's my generation. He also went to school. And he also went to school. Both of them. Yep. They went to school and got educated. And then his partner, Andre, has sent several kids to school. Oh, one of them played football, Division One. A big boy, son of yeah. On, yeah, big boy. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think of some other guys that maybe you guys could possibly break my heart over if you told me nobody they, they weren't real they're, or not. They're just not real. What about Pusha T? He's he's been selling I, coke his whole life. I don't know they about Pusha T, but he's also not no multi platinum artist. They don't. Yeah, like he may be straddling hits. the he made fence. Made a couple money, a little bit of money, but nothing. He may major. be straddling the fence because you got to remember. If Pharrell found these guys, how tough are they? Well, I think Pharrell liked to be around hard guys. No, 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 no. It's how can I portray? Am I marketable enough? That's right. They come from an area where people does that stuff, but if I can just rap about what I see every day and make it sound good and meet the right people, we good. But you can't get the real guy because the real guy does real crimes. Plus, Pusha T is not a multi-million dollar artist. No, no, but I mean, he's right. he's he's was the president of good music. He you know he's he can straddle the good fence. Music. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's, he's re- a, what we would call a filler artist. Oh goodness, that doesn't sound. He's filling out the bottle. That doesn't sound <laughs> lovely. Did uh, have you guys had any interesting customers over the past week? Any interesting calls? Anything? Any tales from the barber shop that we should know about? No, nah, we've been pretty much working our That's ass true. off lately, like. But yeah. that's all good. But I mean, we we haven't had any episodes lately. Plus, right. we're really kind of still elated off the uh, the live radio show. The guest being the guest host yeah, for that. That was pretty. Yeah, cool. we're yeah we're still riding that. Cloud. Did you guys hear from a, from a lot of people that you hadn't heard of? You know, while we were doing this podcast. Yeah, I did. I have. I've had, and also with the show that we did, I didn't know that a lot of people like the UPS workers. They listen to Bubba in the morning. It's a lot of people that listen to Bubba that don't talk about it. Right. Right. They don't broadcast that, you know, but I guess that's their thing. But it seems like to me, man, you know, people just really want to be here or interact with real shit. Yeah. Are you guys real? Real as they come. I think it don't get no more genuine than this, bro. Am I real? Yeah. So far, so good. Because guess what? We don't really fuck with people that ain't real. Hey, like for real, you don't take care of your kids and shit. We don't fuck with you. Can I ask you guys something? Mm. Shoot, you want to go to a dog fight after this? Fuck, no. yeah, <laughs> we're going in your backyard. That's right, <laughs> yeah, because we know I got two cocker spaniels, buddy. We're gonna watch them oh. fight to the death. Oh, I got a question about that. Can I bring? I got a a, a baby hyena. What the? Can f- I enter that in the fight? What in the? F- <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to clip his ears and shit. Try to make him Are look like a... Are there hyenas running around? To, to, I don't know, but no. I got one. I got one out of Africa. I hope it ain't done over here. I was going to say, I don't And guess what? I just imagine... <laughs> oh, no, of... there is hyenas running around here. You know what they call them? The chupacabra. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I got to yeah. just check this. The chupacabra. You ain't never heard of the chupacabra? I have. I just don't know. Are these things in Florida or what? It's some down in Miami, they say. I'm pretty sure they got reports of them down in the Everglades. Yes, they do. Uh, I don't know. Well, the chupacabra. I mean, there's a lot of shit going down in the Everglades. Yeah. But the one down here is different from the one out west. And then the one out west is different from the one in Puerto Rico. Yeah. Uh, it looks like... Uh, well, <laughs> it said the Florida International Teaching Zoo has has a bunch of them. Hyenas? Has hyenas, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to get one of those and make it look like a pit bull, and they're not going to even know till they say, hey, man, your dog's eating my dog. Yeah, you can go to Bush Gardens, too, it looks like, but I, I don't know if hyenas... Oh, yeah, it says, can a pack of hyenas thrive in the Everglades? There you go. Hell, yeah, they can thrive in the Everglades. I don't know about that. Shit, it's plenty. They got them goddamn pythons, boy. How many eat the hell out them pythons? How many undiscovered, disgusting species do you think there are in the Everglades? Like, how many things like that, like at the bottom, like pythons that we don't even know exist yet? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's a lot of shit. It's a lot of shit. Oh yeah. Yeah. Would, would you go on one of those pontoon boats through the nope. uh, or whatever the fuck nope. it is? One of those? What are they? Motor hell boats? No. Yeah. You talking about the airboat? Uh, the airboat. Yeah. Airboat. No. Yeah. Fuck no. You would do one of those for no. what? Alligator jump up and uh, say hi. Yeah. Yeah, if I, I want to go see all that, all I got to do is go to Lake Magori. That's oh, yeah. our Everglades right yeah. there. 
We got to see whatever you want to see right down the street from the shop. We got the right there. We got the that is true, right? And it's not whatever. What was that shit called? The seagrass or whatever that they fucking cut? Oh, those cattails. Yeah, sawgrass. You're gonna get finally get a nice view, man. Holy, yeah, because it was the whole lake and shit. It was out of control. Except that one time, you could be going down Ninth Street and see alligator sunbathing on the side of the road. Every now and again, you'll catch one. But when we were younger, it was Yeah, they used to be bad. all the time. Yeah. Tons of alligators. Did they remove the alligators from well, there? No, we have a retention pond behind there, and they kind of shoo-shoo them over the back there. But they still, if you go out there, they'll be on the other side of the bank, on the nature park side, that you sh- shouldn't be over there anyway. Yeah. Cause, leave uh, the gators alone. Yeah, leave them motherfuckers alone. They ain't bother nobody. All right, they ain't bother nobody. You guys did great today. Anything uh, Anything we need to talk about? Anything you, we need to promote before you guys get out of here today? Oh, I got a lot of shit to just say, but just I'm going to put man. it in two minutes. Go ahead. You, you got as much time as you need. I was lying. I really ain't got nothing. You got to say. nothing? Oh, I do got something to say. I want to shout out to everybody that watched us on uh, Instagram Live today. Yeah. yeah get uh, we love y'all. Shout out. Thank you for your support. Yep. Yep. I agree with that. And I think Seth, I really, you know what I'm saying? I like, I'm, I'm really digging what we doing, bro. And shout really out to am. my man, um, uh, Chris, South Carolina, my man. Yeah, he always gives us. He a gives big, us a good call. He calls yeah. us. Yeah, he, he calls us with the, if it's good, bad, or ugly. He gives us good, good advice, good feedback. One yeah. of our biggest fans. Where, yeah. What kind of feedback has he given you before? Well, just tells you how just, awesome you guys like, are. When I gave my phone number out, he's he like, like, you might need mistake. to get another phone. <laughs> he's like, you might need another line, so bro. You guys are awesome. You're good. This thing is going to take off. And he's like 1,000% behind it. A holy. Good. That's awesome. Then we man. got my boy Joe and Hoss. Juan. Don't forget Juan. Juan from um, Juan. El Salvador. <laughs> Juan. Not San Juan, Shit. El Salvador. El Salvador. I always say Juan from San Juan. Hey, but listen, let's give a shout out to Juan because Juan has been it's been rough the last couple months. He lost had a his lot father. of death. Yeah, he lost his father. But guess what, Juan? You got the whole Bubba Army. You got Latin Sons, and you got all us behind your back, bro. So what? just stand up and in wh- the paint. What and happened? We gonna make it through. Juan, what, Juan from San Juan? He uh, he was gonna from st- El Salvador. Juan from Salvador. El Salvador. He was he was gonna stay there right after his father well, he died. He had to go down there and tie up, you know, loose ends. Yeah, with the family because now he the head of the family. So you know he had to go down there and pretty much take his dad's space. So he's been kind of back and forth. Yeah, okay, he's been coming back and forth. But you guys said that what was it? Did we say something on the podcast or didn't didn't you say that he heard something and realized that he needed to come back home? Right. Yeah, he had he was listening. The family here. And you got to remember, he's the Bubba Army is his family too. So when he heard he when he heard I don't I guess we made a fleeting mention of him when he heard that it made things kind of change for him. He decided that he should at least be splitting time between here and there. Right. And I mean, he still has his family here too, his wife and his boy, but his the rest Shout of the out family to is little all Juan. <laughs> little Juan. <laughs> Whose real name is Isaiah. Isaiah. But he to us at the barbershop. That's little Juan. That's little Juan. <sighs> all right, guys. We did it again. Yeah, man. What a great show, man. I love this shit. <laughs> Do you okay? Yeah, no. Good. I was going to ask you how you felt about today's show, but I was a little hey, scared. Hey, man, work out, work out the theme music, bro. I got it. I got the theme music. You're going to take care of it? It'll be already in the front of this show, Seth yeah. Seth Money. <laughs> yeah, so that when we're coming in and you can start talking and introducing the show, yeah. we got the music in the background. I always wanted theme music. Yeah. Because I, I kind of feel like I be playing theme music in my head when I be walking into places and shit. Do you want me to give? Do you want me to do like how? Do you want me to play it like we're actually introing the show? Yeah, let's do that. All right, let's right, give it a, a, a test run. <laughs> Never cared of what they know. Of. What you super know about fly, that? Self? Super fly, super fly normally plays in my head when I'm walking super in the building. Fly. All right, I gotta get this. Uh, I gotta get this <laughs> Japanese metal off. <laughs> super fly. Uh, let's see. Let's... All right. This is how we'll start the Don't show. Don't forget, everybody, to get out and vote. For who? Whoever you like. Start in your city. Start in your vote city. Vote for your mayor, for your, your mayor. local city council. Get them people in there. Yeah, try that. Hold on, I'll get to the part. Don't worry, guys. All right, guys. Welcome to Operate. Welcome yeah. to Operation Pigmentation. Craig and Rio are here. 
I went too far. Shit. Nah, nah, nah. I'll let it build. See, yeah, you gotta let this part play in before you come in. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Because you gotta hear that open mind for a different view. Now you come in with, hey, Operation Pigmentation. Know what I'm saying? Da 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 da. Because he in the background. We don't give a fuck what they do. We never care for what they say. What they know, fuck them. Fuck them. But I know. But I know. Fuck them. Fuck them. And we should be already into the show by the by this part right here. I yes. don't know, man. I feel like we're just going to be saying fuck them so much. That might take five, ten minutes off. Fuck them. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, the, the the actual Metallica is saying fuck them for us. Oh, do they say yeah. fuck them? No, they don't say them. That was just saying the words. Oh, they okay. Fight. Equate to fuck them. Oh, yeah. all right, guys. Yeah. I'm, finally, I'm finally in frequency with you guys. Man, we Maybe go. you need to hurry up and get to the... Dispensary. You need to get some weed in your body, <laughs> okay. buddy. Yeah. I'll see you guys next week. <laughs> <laughs> see, and then when we go off and you play that right out in the outro. No one care for what they do. I think that works well. Never cared of what